with a 34-game winning streak at the shoe. The Bearcats jump with UW-Milwaukee. As far as the travel goes, guard Steve Logan says, you're a little fatigued, but you have to be ready. That's what you're here for. That and studying <laughs> term papers and midterms. UW-Milwaukee, only one starter six over 6'3". Six so Bob Huggins went with his height. 6'9", Kenyon Martin rocking a fat game and rocking an oop off the inbounds. Milwaukee, one starter over 6'3". Cincy, one starter under 6'6". Pete Michael had DeMar Johnson's back. Michael, 16 points, 8 boards. Later, off the Michael missed free throw. Martin, who was 10 of 15 from the field. I like it when you call me big Papa. More Martin, who said later, no matter if there's two or three guys on me, I've got to get the ball. Kmart, a career high, 26. Six points since he rolls 93 to 60. Said Panthers center Chad Angeli, who is that only Milwaukee starter over 6'3. He was a master of the obvious. He said they just exploited a lot of our weaknesses. Bearcats out rebounded the Panthers 43 to 27. Canisius at number 12, Indiana. Hoosiers have never lost in the Hoosier Classic. Early first half, Indiana up 13-9. A.J. Guyton makes the steal, keeping it real. Michael Lewis with the deal. Lewis at 15. Guyton, hey, he let everybody else score. Only nine points, three assists. Later in the first half, Hoosiers up 18. Lynn Washington steals the pass. Takes it all the way for the rim shocker. Two of his 14 Hoosiers force 20 turnovers. They're up 20. Second half, all Indiana all the time. Washington, great look to Kirk Haston. You big old player. Ah! Haste in the game high, 20. IU shot 54%. Hoosiers eek by not go to battle. I can use the analogy. Second half, Lonnie Baxter with the disc. One of his two blocks. Danny Miller the other way drive. Misses the layup, but Baxter blowing up. 20 points goes to the boards by Baxter. Turks by two. Five minutes up. George Mason down three. Eric Carey, three from the corner. Silk. Sat. So smooth. 13 points of three of eight from deep. One minute left, Stephen Blake finds Mike Martisich. Martisich four points, Blake dropped four dimes, Terps by three. George Mason, one last shot, Keith Holden thought about the three, went inside to John Larinaga, bad move, Larinaga got stripped naked. Terrence Morris gets the ball and it's fouled. George Mason, 18 turnovers, Maryland extends their non-conference home winning streak to 70. They win it 69-66, Terps win it despite 18 turnovers of their own and going one for eight from three-point range. Said Coach Gary Williams, there's a tendency when you beat Kentucky to think that everybody will respect you as being that good automatically, but you have to prove it every night. Number 17, Temple, trying to prove something against Cleveland State. Early first, the Vikings, Ricardo Trumby, finds Kevin Ross down low, nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Stayed up four, but later, ooh, State would miss nine of 11 shots. Second half, Mark Karcher. Straight rain in one of his five threes. 12-0 run for the Owls. Karcher, 24 points. But here, Karcher collides with Doc Taylor. Taylor a Doc, but he's not a pre-med major. Karcher, x-rays on his left shoulder. He lead the game. Owls win it 79-60. See Wilmington, Brett Blizzard. Blizzard looking like he got lost in the storm. Nice pass to Lute Olson. Later in the first, Cats by two, Jason Gardner. Sharing to Richard Jefferson. Jefferson with nine points. Cats by four early, but let's face it, they looked a bit lackluster in this game. Seahawks in transition. Dahl finding Stuart Hare. Seahawks staying close. Wildcats by six, looking to add more. Gardner misses the three. Michael Wright is going to be stripped by Danny Dahl. Dahl is going to eventually get stripped by Gardner. And finally, the ball will end up in the hands of Gilbert Arenas for the three. Arenas finished with 17 for Arizona. Cats pulling away in the second half. Richard Jefferson. Lauren Woods, so glad he transferred to Arizona. Woods had nine. Then Arizona had a victory, 66-51. to 51. Jason Gardner scoring all 12 of his points in the second half. The Wildcats are going to meet Delaware Thursday for the... Now comes the Hoosier Classic. Indiana, 35-0 in this tournament, heading into Tuesday night's title game against Holy Cross. Bob Knight's Hoosiers began the game on a 23-3 run. First half, Lynn Washington. Kirk Haston, two of his 16. Trey, very cool queen. What? That means cool in Japanese. You're smart. At times I am. Lewis, 10.6 assists off of that steal. He was named the tournament MVP, A.J. Guyton. Fighting Washington, who just kicks the door in. 12 points for Washington, Hoosiers. Win easily. So much for Indiana going 35 and 1 in the Hoosier Classic. They are now 36 and 0 in their tournament. Michael for the first time this decade hosting VMI Kenyon Weeks finding the blue chip center Danelle Harvey. He's a player, not a pawn. 22 points, 10 boards for Harvey. Second half, Gators still in control. Brett Nelson with a steal. One handed laying. Nelson's not done. Steals the inbounds. One of 33 VMI turnovers and then finds Matt Bonner. 
19 points for Nelson to go along with his seven steals and five assists. Meanwhile, Major Parker, look out. Unstable, but the rest of his teammates were not. As the Gators win 113 to 68. Freshman Brett Nelson, considered the best high school prospect to come out of West Virginia since Jerry West. 2.1 seconds left. Jam Van Bredakoff's waves down two with the ball. David Lalazarian. Lalazarian misses the three. Craig Lewis is going to hit the tip in. The ref doesn't allow the basket because he thought the time had expired. Lalazarian is disgusted with the ref's call. Can we take another look, please? Does he have a case? It looks like the ball left Lewis's hand with 0.1 second left. So the Bruins escape big time, and they have smiles on their faces as they walk away, 68 to 66, as Pepperdine loses to UCLA for the it's the nation's second longest streak behind Murray State's 46. Also impressive, the play of Utah's big guy, Hanu Medela, since his return two games ago from preseason knee surgery. Oregon State well aware of Mr. Medela coming off a 32-point performance against Texas. Medela scored the Utes' first 12 points in this game. There's an example of it. Utes go up four. Later in the first half, Oregon State hanging around. DeAndre Tanner stops. Pops is a marksman. The Beavers up by two. Under 10 seconds left in the first half. Utah on D. Off the steal. I think they have time for one last shot before the half. Jeremy Killian. Killian, four of five from behind the arc. Utes 12 of 20 from three-point range. They're up six at the break. More Utes on the fast break. Harvey, whoa, and Steinfall go at it big time. This is something that Rick Majerus did not find funny. He was angry about it. Steinfall realized he did bad. He apologized for the foul. Later in the second half, Medela. The 6'9", senior from Finland, this guy is all world right now. 29 points in this game, 61 in his last two games. Utah wins. Said Oregon State coach Eddie Payne, Medela hurt us. If we play a better big man this year, then I'm scared because he is very good. Hawks at number nine, Syracuse. Damon Brown pushing it up and he's being selfish. Throws it down for the dunk. More for Brown, Alan Griffin sharing. Two more of Brown's 15. Jim Beheim has had tougher coaching evenings. Just too much orange. Terry Shumpert for three. He had 12. Syracuse rolls 90 to 69. They're 9 0 on the season. Of course, they've yet to move out of the Carrier Dome. All nine games at home. Don't get in Connecticut. Khalid El Amin. It was all about him all the time off the pick and roll. Suleiman won all alone. Big deal, says El Amin. Later in the first, El Amin doing it on the defensive end as well. He is a thief, isn't he? Pick and Roy Spears' pocket. UConn increases their lead 21-8. Jim Calhoun, happy. See, El Amin was inspired because last time we saw him, he was 1 for 13 from the field against Fairfield. 21 of his 27 points coming in the first half, and the Huskies win at 82-76. As for Voskel, just two points, eight boards in the homecoming. Said El Amin, we played 33 minutes of great ball and lost our intensity. Great teams don't do that. We're lucky to get out with a win. Wow, a win against Houston and pictures with live bulls. Now that's how to end a century. Cincinnati, Boise State, 37-22, lead at the half. The dunks began. Kenyon Martin, player of the year perhaps, and then Martin again. Nice finish, Bearcats up 57-34, Jermaine Tate. Wants a piece of the action. There's an example. One more time, shall we? Kenyon Martin. He's been lifting. Bearcats win it easily, 78-46. Let's move on to Arizona, hosting Please. Delaware. Do okay. It. Do it. Jason Gardner, he's fired up. You know, Gardner figures, why not? I'll let it fly. He drains it. Arizona up 47-31 at the break. Second half, more domination by the Wildcats. Offensive boards, Lauren Woods. He's still glad he transferred. Arizona, Arizona cruises easily. Number six, Michigan State wishes they could say the same against Wright State. What's happening? Peterson with a dunk. Wright State within six at the break. And then Kevin Nelson gets the lay in two of his 16 points. Has anyone seen the Spartans? Wright State pulling off the upset. All right. Yeah. Let's see the final for those who don't believe us, Rich. I believe you. Then. All right. Well, just in case you don't. 53-49. You know, let's face it. This was the biggest victory ever for Wright State. We're talking about a team now 4-8, and eight, which has had losing records the last three seasons. Michigan State shooting just 33% from the field. Morris Peterson, the guy finally has an off night on 2 of 15 shooting. And let's face it, too. Nobody else could pick up the slack. For Auburn up 5. Doc Robinson ahead to Chris Porter. 
high percentage. She had a game high 13. Auburn up just 25 21 at the half. Second half now, Porter with the steal. Takes it all the way, but Porter this time cannot convert high percentage. But Damon Fishback has his back. Auburn leads by seven. It's a three point game late second half. Mamadou Jai in the paint. The hook drops. Auburn wins 56 to 50. Auburn's won nine in a row since losing to top ranked Stanford the last weekend in November. The Eagles stayed with Auburn, even though they went scoreless over a nine minute stretch after halftime. St. Louis, number 10 Kansas, going at it in Kansas City. Jeff Boshi got things working. Second half with St. Louis down one. Boshi's pass was picked off. Love finished with 19 points. Justin Love steals it. Six minutes left, second half, Kansas down two. Jeff Boshi working it. Wide open three. Jayhawks up one, just over three and a half minutes left in the game. Kansas up five. Boshi drains another three off the pick, part of a 12-0 Kansas run. Boshi opened the game with a three as 109th in a Jayhawk uniform pass. And making an impact. You'll see what I mean. Madsen sets the screen. Jacobson with the finish. 13 points, eight boards for Madsen, by the way. Later in the first, Stanford up 10. Collins, monster on the boards, grabs the rebound, looks ahead to Michael McDonald. No, not the former lead singer of the Doobie Brothers. This McDonald to Jacobson, 15 points for him. Stanford winning easily. The Cardinals 33-2 and in non-conference home games over the last seven seasons. Next up for Stanford, the conference schedule starts next Thursday with Arizona State. Purdue and UCLA came down to the wire. Second half, Purdue down two. 13 seconds left. Carson Cunningham ties it at 53. UCLA inbounding the, the basketball. Jason Capono, the freshman. Can he pull a Tyus Edme? Goes the length of the court, and he hits it, but he leaves some time left on the clock. 1.1 seconds to be exact. Maynard Lewis has to inbound the length of the court. The problem is there's all a scoreboard in the way. <laughs> UCLA wins by two. Maryland all over UMBC. They win by 30. The Sugar Bowl Basketball Classic, Kentucky and Missouri. The save by Blevins, Desmond Allison, passing it up to Jules Kamara. Wildcats looking for their fourth straight win. They were up 15, looking to be on their way. Justin Gage and then Jamal McGlure. Says, you want to come to a block party this New Year's Eve? Later in the half, all Wildcats. McGlure on the offense. Double-double, 21 points, 13 boards. Kentucky wins 70 to 53. Elsewhere, number 23 to Paul. No problems for this matchup of unbeatens. Oklahoma State LSU. Lamont Rowland hits the three and rolling again from way out there. LSU up 10. Cowboys staying in it. Doug Gottlieb. Finding one of his best friends, Desmond Mason. Just seven points, though, for the Cowboys' leading scorer. Perhaps a problem in this game. Too much Tigers. Stramile Swift slams it home. Swift 14 points, 11 boards, and more Roland. A career-high 22 points for Roland, and LSU celebrates the victory. The Tigers now 12-0, their best start since the 19th.